Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we are not alone. Will has not grown a beard. This is John Lovell of the Warrior Poet Society. And what a fantastic, smashing introduction, mind you. Smashing. I, 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 well, that's very ironic. <laughs> Fantastic. It's, it's great to have you here, Thank all the way up you. from Georgia, here in Montana, and it's hotter here in Montana today than it is in Georgia. I'm good with it. It's awesome. We've got scenic mountains and cool shop, man. Thanks for having us up. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. If you don't know John, be sure at the end of this video to check out his channel because he makes a ton of great videos about everything from blasters to life to family, all that cool stuff. It's an all-you-can-eat YouTube channel. Sounds amazing. I'm gonna go visit it after this. This is great. <laughs> so dumb. I'm pleased I sold it so well. Before we jump into this, where we're gonna be making some sort of deadly, fantastic weapon, let's thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the online website building platform that makes it tremendously easy for you to build your own website online with no coding experience. They've been a long time sponsor of the show and it is fantastic to know you guys are using them to build your websites, showcase your brand. You can get yourself a free trial when you go to squarespace.com forward slash forge and you can also get yourself 10% off your first purchase with Squarespace using code forge at checkout. After you try it out, you see how it works. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Let's jump right in. So what is it that we're gonna be making, John? So we we have concerns. Uh, there's so many movies about zombies. We feel like it's just a matter of time before zombies do in fact come for us. We want to be prepared and we need you to help us get there. So we're thinking some ultimate zombie smashing uh, instrument of war. Yes. And now if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I'm completely terrified about the zombies and my entire career has been building to this moment. This and so I'm honored that you would come here and I'm thrilled because we are going to make just the greatest zombie smashing tool. You are welcome, internet. <laughs> let's make it, let's design it. We got some paper here. Will is joining us. We also have Evan who works with John at the Warrior Purse yes. Society. So this is a top secret folder. So Evan, first off, Evan has done some preliminary sketches. I did the very first one. We weren't sure exactly what we wanted to do. So this is kind of our brainchild. That first, terrible. Well, we, we had to start somewhere. So this was mine. This is the Zombie Smasher 100. Mm. Uh, and the idea is it, it starts with a, a suicide stake and an orb of death. I, I, I think so, suicide stake is probably not good for okay, the old right. YouTube <laughs> algorithm. Right. Yep. You know? This is Evan. Evan's is way better than mine. Yeah, we call this one the tenderizer. It's basically a 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it off. We got pistol grip on it. It's got a little spiky ball on top. Um, it's basically a hammer, but it does come with a matching helmet, and it's got a helmet sword. And I think I <laughs> got guys, something we, there. We have we have two days. Oh, and we we can't we can't make the gun in two days. The helmet though. What's I going do. on here? So we've got a spear. We've got three axe blades, but I didn't know how to draw it. Uh, and there's a crystal. <laughs> And this is a close-up of the crystal. All right, now we're getting to some real stuff. We got, basically, it's an AR-15 that shoots a crossbow sword. We got a quiver of swords. We didn't really think of a name for that, but I think we're gonna take it. I like that. Which number is this? This is the 400? Yeah, yeah that's 400. This, yeah, well, this was a bigger it. jump. I, I think this is probably a 1,000. This is a yeah. really good design. We're very proud of this. Yeah, we're, we're moving. So uh, this is another one. We oh, really like stepped it up. We'll call it the Zombie Smasher 1500. 1500, maybe pushing 1700. We've got an axe blade on the bottom. We do have mm. a, it could be gas powered um, chainsaw on the front. We do have the pull start. I've and, heard about these chainsaw bayonets. Right? And I, mm -hmm. Chainsaw. Yeah. Can yeah. you do a chainsaw? No, we we, yeah, you forge we, one. we we can't do a chainsaw. Do what is this? Chainsaw. Amateur hour! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, you want to show them the, our, our crown jewel? This, yeah, this is piece de resistance. This is the actual design that we've settled on. We want this. We got we got, we got got Damascus steel inlay there. That's not inlay. We got a sword blade. We got a saw, survival saw on the bottom, a little hand to hold. So the concept here is you could pick this up right here mm -hmm. and you could do it. The special move on this is the power stroke. Yeah, show, show them with this. <laughs> Show when them that. You're surrounded, when you want to cut a zombie completely in half, uh -huh. you pick up this foot and then you power stroke that. <laughs> I think we might just be able to do this. Okay, let's draw it up. Let's draw it up big on this piece of paper. I have taken the bolt carrier group out, so it is not an actual gun. It's just parts, so do not fear it. Uh, 
Okay, a design, a preliminary design has been come to. This thing looks awesome. It does. That's what it's gonna look like in scale. What are we thinking, John? I'm thinking, what if the zombies came right now and this isn't prepared? How quickly can we turn this out? Man, probably day and a half or so. Oh, can good. we double it? Can we double it? <laughs> three days? I think we could do it in three days. Mean, double it quicker? <laughs> What if we put a flamethrower on it? We do you have one of those we do this. laying um, around? We do, it's over there. We just stick it to it, maybe. That's, I really like the flamethrower idea. All right, we've got ourselves a 20 inch overall piece, 11 inch blade. We've got some very mean serrations here that cover the hand, make it so that you're not gonna get any zombie bites on your hand. You can just saw their face right off. Show, show the saw like, the face. Exactly oh, like that. Yep. That's a excellent saw to the face. It's the next day. We gotta fire up the forge. You can do the honors, Evan. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so the plan is, we have this piece of Damascus steel. Now, this is a piece that I made up when I was in the UK. So I feel it's only fitting to be using this to make the Zombie Slayer 2000, which is so illegal in the UK, it's not even funny. <laughs> but it's so exciting to be able to make it here. God bless the United States of America. Let's put this piece of steel in the fire and forge it out into the blade. What I've done right now is I've started bending the material back here. We're hammering it back in this direction. This is gonna be the little hook. Let me show it to you. That section is gonna be this little hook here at the bottom of the Zombie Slayer 2000. So sorry. That's, that's all good. That's all part of the fun. this material pulled out in this direction, it's time to flatten off some of this into the rest of the handle hand stop area. The handle area is isolated, forged down, we have some delamination up here at the base. This is very normal. I'm gonna have to cut this off and then we're gonna draw down and forge out that blade from there.
Flair 2000 is forged. Woo! Oh, baby. This is one mean looking tool. It needs a lot of grinding, well but it's done. forged. It's Damascus steel. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> well done. All right, man. Let's pretty it up. Oh yes. All right guys, we got it. It's all cooled down now. It's forged to rough shape, but it's still looking a little bit rough. So we're gonna go into the grinding room. We're gonna grind off all of this mean iron oxide scale. We're gonna profile it. We're gonna make it look really, really pretty. And then it's gonna be on the heat treating and stuff like that. And gonna blast out some holes first. Oh, we've got we've got to fire up the plasma cutter. We're gonna blast out the uh, the handle holds, the hand stop holds. Man, we've got a lot of work left to do on it, but it is taking shape, and very soon it's gonna look almost exactly like that drawing, which is gonna be fantastic. So the whole thing's looking overall very, very good, but the biggest issue that we run into is that we just don't have the room for those teeth in there that we really want. So I'm gonna throw this thing back in the forge and draw this down and widen it out so we've got the meat to carve ourselves some nice, mean-looking serrations. And after that, we're gonna move back into the grinding room and get those things ground in. The rest of it lo is looking really fantastic, so that forging should go really fast. Will is out of the grinding room and has done a phenomenal job on this piece. The next steps are gonna be cutting the serrations and going to the heat treat. It looks a whole lot like the drawing, and uh, whoa. Fantastic. This, the Zombie Slayer 2000. Oh, it's too look. good. It's so too good. good. Guys, we don't want to give you a giveaway too much, but in the next episode, which you're gonna have to check out, we're gonna actually field test this. It's one thing to theorize on the Zombie Slayer 2000, and it's another thing to see it in action, and we pulled out all the stops. It's gonna be hilarious. It's way over the top. It's gonna be epic, so you gotta tune in for that. It has been a pleasure having you here, John. Fun, and for those that are curious, the bolt is out of this gun, so it's not doing anything. It is just a piece of aluminium. <laughs> A piece of what? Aluminium. That's aluminium. English for aluminum. I you think. need to learn how to speak American. Well, you know I'm trying, but... <laughs> we cannot wait to see you on the next episode, but before we finish this, let's thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Squarespace. Squarespace is the online website building platform that has been allowing people like you and me to build websites without any coding experience, any real computer savvy, and all because the whole user experience of building a website on Squarespace is that easy. It starts out by buying a domain, and you can buy a domain through Squarespace, so you don't have to 
to deal with the complexities of setting up a domain. I remember what a hassle that was and what a difficulty the first time I ever did that. It's so much easier now. It's native in Squarespace. And once you've picked the domain that's going to best show off your brand, it's time to pick a template. Now, all of Squarespace's templates are built to showcase your website in the best light, not only on a computer, but also on mobile, which is incredibly important today. You add photos, you can even add video backgrounds, you can add links to your Instagram, play YouTube videos, add products, unlimited products, all super easily. And so be sure to go to squarespace.com forward slash forge to get yourself a free trial. See how you like Squarespace. See how easy it is to create your website. Then when you use code forge at checkout, you're gonna be getting yourself 10% off your first purchase with them. It's incredibly affordable, incredibly easy. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for supporting our sponsors and learning how easy it can be to build your own website. It's been a pleasure as always. Bye-bye.